Okay, we're going to cover how to uh, update your Joomla installation and also the extensions that are used within Joomla to run your website uh, to the latest version. There's been uh, a recent release of Joomla 3.6.4 and that's one of the reasons why we're doing this tutorial because there is actually quite an important security update although many clients uh, are not on uh, retainers so we thought we'd produce a tutorial to uh, let them uh, know how to do this themselves. So at some point, you will have, uh, at the beginning of the project, you will have received a login for your website and you'll see that the URL uh, has administrator at the end. The URL may possibly be different. Uh, and sometimes we change this uh, for security reasons. And you just use this URL uh, to log in. Once you're at that page, you just put in your username and password and click login. Once uh, you've logged in, you will be uh, presented with the control panel. And as you'll see here, it's telling us that there's a Joomla update available. There are also uh, three extensions available for update. So the first thing I'm going to do is update Joomla. And it will also say to us uh, that it wants to back up the website because this is actually quite an important update. Joomla 3.6.3 was released uh, a few weeks ago and they've just very quickly after that released uh, Joomla 3.6.4. That's usually an indication that there's a security update uh, that was missed in 3.6.3. So we're just going to update that. Automatically, the uh, system will take a backup of the website and store that on the server so that if we do apply the updates and there is a problem we will then be able to roll back to the previous installation and be able to uh, use that and then obviously find out what the problem was with the update because Joomla can actually use you know, one of hundreds of, of components any one of those may possibly cause a problem um, it's very rare that that happens. I think I've seen it happen once in maybe the last five years uh, where a customer has installed components that didn't come from the Joomla repository. Then they updated the website and the website didn't work. Uh, it only took me a, an hour or two to resolve, but it's always a good idea to take a backup before you do any updates of any kind. So the backup process is just about finishing. It's telling us it was successful and now it's skipping straight to the Joomla update as you can see and that's complete it will actually take longer for the screen to refresh than the update did to complete I'm going to uh, check for updates again just to make a hundred percent sure and if you have a look in the uh, bottom right hand corner there you'll see that it says uh, Joomla 3.6.4 so that's fine we're at the latest version so now I'm going to go to the uh, control panel and in a moment it'll update if we scroll down we'll see here it's telling us Joomla is up to date it's checking extensions it's found that two updates are available just scroll up to the top we can actually click there and it will take us to the same page but normally you would stay here and wait and you see the updates I've got a pretty good idea which updates they are not critical uh, the Joomla update definitely is critical it needs to be applied today uh, so I'm going to try and be clever and update all three although this can actually cause a problem so my suggestion would always be update one at a time put a tick in the box click update so I'm going to try and update all three but they're coming from three separate repositories so the chances are it won't do all three And it has. Wow, I'm happy. Okay, another way to check for extensions that need updating is click on the extensions menu, uh, manage, update. And it will take you to the extensions update page. I'm a happy bunny, everything's up to date. The only thing we need to do now, have a look at the website and make sure everything's working okay. 
and the only other thing is the languages because we updated the languages for the website so I'm just going to switch language to make sure that's working okay as well okay I'm a happy bunny everything's been updated brilliant and that's it um, once Joomla's updated the backup's been taken um, the website will continue to run perfectly fine if you receive another notification that Joomla requires an update my only suggestion would be uh, go to the components option uh, go to Akiba backup make a backup of your website by clicking backup now and then click this blue button uh, because if you do update the website and there's a problem and we don't have a backup we have to go back to a vanilla installation sometimes um, but if we have a backup to go back to that we can use, it will take 10-15 minutes to rebuild the entire website. I hope that was of use. Uh, any questions, please get in touch. Um, for those that are already on a, a retainer package, either a base or a starter retainer, all of this will be done for you automatically. Um, but this is uh, obviously to help you uh, learn how to do it yourself as well. Thank you.